Okay, so with this one, we're looking at a cart of mass 10 kilograms shown above, moves without frictional loss on a level table. It's got those little wheels on it, so we know uh, there's no friction, um, or no frictional loss in this case. Um, so then we're saying a 10 newton force pulls on the cart horizontally to the right, at the same time a 30 newton force at an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal pulls on the cart to the left. What is the magnitude of horizontal acceleration of the cart? So again, just like before, uh, give us a quick pause, try it on your own, and then check your answer after you're done. So yeah. Okay, so again, just like we've been doing, the very first thing that we want to do is we want to circle our object and draw our force diagram. So in this case, I'm circling it. I'm thinking about what my contact forces are. It looks like I have a contact from this 10 Newton force that's horizontal, and then this 30 Newton force that is at that 60 degree angle, and I also have contact with the floor. So yeah, now we're good to go. We're good to make our force diagram. So it looks like I have a, I hate my little dot, or I'll draw the dot. Ah. All right, so if I'm drawing out these forces and identifying them, I have a 10 Newton force that is acting to the right. I have a 30 Newton force that is at a 60 degree angle. Not that it really matters, but whatever. So it's at a 60 degree angle. And then I also have, I know that my cart is full of mass, or it has mass, and it exists on Earth, which means that we have this downward gravitational force, Fg. And then we also know that it is contacting the ground, which means that we have a normal force that is acting upwards. All right, so we've identified all of the forces that are acting on our object. And now we can start to kind of go through and figure out stuff about the acceleration of our object. So the first thing that I want to do when I'm looking at this is I see, OK, I have a force that is not strictly in the x direction or the y direction. And just like when we're dealing with projectiles, when we have something that isn't strictly in our x or our y direction, or what we're defining to be the x or y direction, like when we deal with ramps, we have to keep them separated. We have to split this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this 30 Newton force. Ooh, that was bigger than I thought it was going to be. I have to split this into components. So I'm going to split it into a x component and a y component. I'll make that a different color. Kind of missed there for a second. All right, so I have two components on here. I have an x direction force and a y direction component of my force. So I'm going to call this fx. I'm going to call that fy. All right, so now I'm good to go. What we're asking for here is the magnitude of the horizontal acceleration. So really, I'm just going to focus on my x direction and see then if I need anything else. So in my x direction, if I'm listing out my forces, it looks like I have a positive 10 Newton force right there. And then I have this negative fx. And it's a good thing that I split this up into my components because now I can really visually and clearly and easily see, oh, this is acting in the x direction. There's a part of this that is happening in the x direction. So I have that minus fx equals mass times acceleration. So now what I can do, so I'm gonna take 60 degrees. I can use some trig to kind of go a little bit deeper. So I can say, okay, if I'm looking at this triangle, 30 is my hypotenuse, and this fx, this is adjacent to my 60 degree angle. So it looks like I have adjacent and I have hypotenuse, which means I can use cosine. So cosine of my angle, 60, is equal to adjacent fx over the hypotenuse, 30. I can multiply both sides by 30 and say 30 cosine of 60 is equal to fx. 
So now I have an actual number for fx. And when I do that, is that let's see, 30 times 15, 60 is 15, yeah. This is 15. So now I can plug into my equation again. 10 minus 15 is equal to my mass was 10 kilograms times a. I think that's 10 kilogram. Yeah, 10 kilogram cart. Say negative 5 is equal to 10 times a. So a is equal to negative 0.5. So, let's do this for a second stage. In this case, our cart is accelerating to the left. It is gaining speed to the left. So if it's already moving this way, it's slowing down, or it's starting to speed up in our leftwards direction. All right, cool. And then one thing to kind of point out with this one, I don't have a direct question about it today, but if we were gonna solve for this normal force, the normal force would be less than the weight, and that's just kind of a cool thing to think about. But yeah, so we found our acceleration and we're good to go.